Welcome to the best of the most expensivest, where we take a look back at all the baller shit you saw 2 Chains do on the web. We're remixing some of the web series' all-time dope-ass clips to blow your mind all over again. On this special Best of the Web episode of Most Expensivest, it's all about that snack life. You know 2 chains. he's the drench god, the snack king, and today we munch in. We'll see 2 chains with skateboard legend Nadja Houston to check out billion dollar popcorn and expensive ass coffee made from cat poo. <laughs> Next, he'll try fancy dessert that'll take a bite out of your bank account. Then, Deuce and Diplo wash it all down with a $100,000 bottle of water dripping. Two Chains is obviously more of a lobster and champagne kind of guy, but when he does snack, it's always top of the line. This is the most expensivest snacks on snacks on snacks. Hey, 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 how you doing, man? Hey, how's it going? All right, I'm Two Chains. Jeremy. Nice to meet you, Nice fam. to meet you, too. What's going on today? Oh, we're gonna make some coffee. Uh, you know, I like coffee, man. All I drink really is water and dirty Sprite sometimes. Other than that, it's coffee. Awesome, so we have selected the world's ultimate coffee brewing and coffee setup for you to try today. So this is the Blossom Brewer. It starts at $6,000. Uh, what? Did you talk about this damn machine? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. Dude, what, what, what is it? It talks. It tells you, come and tell you. It has an alarm clock uh, we're, on We're it. working on uh, having it be your best friend. That feature's not for enabled $6, yet. For no. $6,000, this shit should jump cars off. This shit should have an air pump on it. My Keurig. Yeah. My Keurig machine, mm. it didn't cost mm. nowhere near yeah. 6000 <laughs> uh, Nope. <laughs> and it doesn't do the same things either. <clears throat> Our goal was to make a coffee machine that could control every variable that changes the flavor of coffee. And so this is actually the only coffee maker in the world that actively monitors the temperature of the coffee while it's brewing and uses an algorithm to correct that so that it stays at the perfectly right temperature for that coffee. So we'll use this coffee first. It'll take a, about an ounce. We're going to pour the whole zip in there. <laughs> That's right. Street time. It's going to be a good cup. You know what a zip is? Uh, kind of, sort of. A bit mostly. Yeah, OK. This is a Malkonig EK43 grinder. That's 3,000. It's more consistent than almost any other coffee grinder ever made. There's actually entire blogs dedicated to this grinder. Grind anything you want in there. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, OK. If you, have, if you like a really precise uh, particle size of something you need to grind, Put it Throw in it there. in there and okay, look let's at exactly see what you're looking for. Some, 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 some. All right, so some you turn it on right there. Oh, oh, that's it, bro. Yep. So now give that a stir. So you just stick that in there. Just stir, stir it, it back and forth like a paddle. Yep, perfect. Stir. Stir, stir, stir. 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 All right, that's enough stirring there. Stir, stir, stir. 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 Okay. You can just drop that in here. So your, your main variables that we're controlling here, I mentioned temperature earlier. Uh, now we're controlling time. That's what you're doing with that plunger. When you were stirring it, that was the uh, agitation. Another really important variable with how it dissolves. So I got my homie with me, right? Yeah. I want to know what he thinks about the um, coffee himself, my homie Nigel. Sounds hey, good. bro, come here and check this out for him. This man here has... <laughs> What up, fam? How you doing, man? Good. Me, Jeremy, Hi, right there. Jeremy, right? Nigel. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet man. you, too. Right, he has the most expensive coffee for some reason. Mm. Hell yeah. Where does this coffee come from? Does it come from any special place or, you know, cave or whatever? You know, <laughs> I don't know. What Absolutely, yeah. So we have three of the best coffees that we could find. You could give them to your coffee nerd friend, and he would say, right on, man, that's the real deal. This one is, uh, this is actually a Kopi Luwak coffee. So the, the history of this is basically these, these animals in the forests of Indonesia, civets, for you know as long as they've been animals, have gone out and eaten the coffee cherries. And so the pit that we roast and turn into coffee comes out the other end uh, in their poop. So are you saying every single one of these coffee beans came out of a cat? Yeah. Every, Every coffee bean, is, it came from a cat. Came, came through a cat. 
For centuries, people have been collecting. I guess somebody was walking around in the woods and said, oh, hey, that, that's still good, <laughs> and saw it in the, in the poop and said, oh, that's still good, let me try that. And it's kind of become its own little thing. People are, some people are really into it. Poop. This one's you. about uh, $600. Ooh, no, I'm just... <laughs> $600 a pound? $600 a pound, yeah. Cash it. Cat, cash it coffee. How much is this right here, this cup? There are cups of Kopi Luwak that are as much as $100 uh, served in various cafes around the world, so. But is just this cup of coffee by itself? I mean, you're looking at, you know, $100 to $600 a pound for the it's coffees like, we've got it's here like today. It's like a couple dollars a sip. These, these cups of coffee should come with an iPhone sure. or something. You advise us to, to, to leave the pinky out? You know, this is really a matter of personal style. Not sipping. Um, for me, I'm more of a pinky in uh, kind of, but many, many are pinky out. Pinky in on this one. Yeah, and feel free to slurp the coffee. People who work professionally in coffee tasting, they tend to slurp really loudly. Uh, so don't be afraid to just... It's amazing. What if you have, like, cat allergies? Can you drink this coffee? <laughs> like, can you drink this coffee? Like, that's some deep... Like, that's, some, that's a good question. That's a good question. It's been yeah. inside a cat, fam. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, fam? Right on, man. And, and you f***ing drink this shit, you start sneezing or something. <laughs> this coffee is excellent. And to be able to say that I ate something that went through such a lengthy and historic process of being, you know, eaten whole by a cat. A green cherry. It's a great storyline. Yeah. Would I buy it? I'm not sure. It just depends on what day it is. But I am happy and very lucky to be able to taste it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, thanks for coming. Some good coffee. <laughs> what you think about, you know, three-year-olds or seven-year-olds eating gold? It feels like I smoke weed when I drink that water. It always feels like I smoke weed. What's up, man? How, How you we doing? doing? Matt, two nice chains, to meet nice you, nice to meet you. What's up, brother? Nigel, nice to meet you. What's going on, man? So what we you got, got here today? We got Burko's popcorn, the best popcorn in the history of the universe ever. Not so, Oval Red Bar? No, Bar not Oval. Not Oval. Nothing on me. We got two of our best sellers. We got our world famous best ever mix here. This is a mix of our best caramel corn ever and our world famous white cheddar. Yeah? Yeah. This is my number one seller. For real? For real. Number one sip. Oh, I can, I can have some? Why not? You're here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's it right there. That's good. Man. Thank you. You think we can share it with Naja? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is this like for this bag alone? Is it very like how much is it? This is this is this is just six dollars. Movie theater I mean, prices. Yeah, reasonable. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too All bad. Right. So what's going on with this? So then we got my way too expensive white truffle. How much is that one? That's six, two. They're both six. They're both six. All right, so now we came to show you that the most expensive, so good. most expensive popcorn in the world. We use the most expensive salt in the world. This is flown in special from a small island in Denmark called Leso. And this, this salt right here is $10 a pound. And why is it so exclusive? They use a special process to distill the salt out of the water. It's glacier water. You want to taste? Mm, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty good. It's, it's a bold, it has a real bold taste to it. That's why we put it in the most expensive popcorn in the world, Burko's Billion Dollar Popcorn. So tell me, like, I know the popcorn it can't be worth a billion because... No, no, no. That, I wouldn't be here, here. that's right. for sure. I'd be... So, I'd be... We got real edible 23 karat gold flake. Okay, okay. So I know about this. You know about this. I've, eat, I've eaten gold. You've eaten gold before. Yeah, I've, I've eaten gold on a... Just going hard in the bedroom, chain in the mouth, swag. <laughs> just under the... I just... I just can I get on in on this too? Yeah, get okay? in on this. This is that toast, man. This is the other side, man. Everybody ain't doing this, man. You're all playing around. You All waste right. your life. Come on, here you go, man. Okay. Yeah, man. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, change your light, go. 125 to $150 a gram. Whoa. This was a gram. This little jar here, but the full thing was a gram. We've been using it. This, oh, this is just for me too, thank you. Man. No, that's not just for you, but the popcorn is. I need this. So, chains, single kernel right here. Gold covered, best calm, world billion dollar popcorn. Salt, gold, five dollars. Man, get the out of here. Mm. I'm not going anywhere. I didn't say I was charging you. I'm just telling you what I charge everybody else. People come in and pay five dollars for this one kind. Yep. Have you sold one of these before? Oh yeah. Just can I have this? Yeah. Yes. So this can right here, five hundred dollars. How long? So you have a shit. So you have a hundred kernels in. More than that, probably. Oh, so we, we, know, get we, we, we do a little volume. We get a deal. We get a deal. We get a deal. We get a deal. Volume discount. We get a deal. You guys are friends. I mean. Yeah. That looks, man, that looks beautiful. Awesome. Here, you got to look make, at it. We're going to make you look. You, here, have that. It. I want to do this. That gold popcorn, man, this shit dope. Best so I guess what I'm had. saying is, it's the best popcorn I've ever had. Oh, we got, a, we got a cluster here of four, so that's 20. You want a $20 piece? You're not going to feed me, though. It leaves gold on your fingers. Matches the ring set. You got any kids? You got somebody to pass it? Not yet. Bruh, look at this shit. Look at the particle. What you think about, you know, three-year-olds or seven-year-olds eating gold? Maybe wait till they're 13, 14. Okay, cool. Yeah. My man, Burko, I want to thank you for this genius idea that you started recently that I feel like is going to make a serious wave. This is the future of popcorn. I love the boy. Thank you, man. Thank you, Chains. It's the most expensive ice cream sundae in the world. This is the most expensive water in the world. Joe, Joe, my Yo, man. Good up? to see you again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We got something really blinged out for you today. So, so what? This is the golden opulent sundae. A golden opulent. You know I need these words from, from my raps. Golden, golden opulent sundae. It's the most expensive ice cream sundae in the world. It's the same goblet that they use in the Vatican. This is Baccarat crystal from France. Uh, Baccarat. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I know about it's, that. It's, then inside we have ice cream, but not just any kind of ice cream. We have Tahitian vanilla ice cream, and we infuse it with Madagascar vanilla. Then we roll it in gold. What's, what's going on with this gold thing that you can eat? Tell me about that. You can eat pure gold. It, really? It's got to be pure. Can't have the other metals in it. Like if it's an 18 carat, the rest of it is other metal fillers. This is 23 carat edible gold leaf. Doesn't have a taste, but it has a real cool texture. And there's nothing cooler than eating gold. Then we add some of the most expensive chocolate in the world, some of the rarest chocolate in the world. These are little candied fruit from Fauchon in Paris. And these are made with gorgeous fresh fruit soaked in a sugar solution for about a month. And it turns into like a candy flavor, but it's true fruit. It's fruit that's, they, that's turned to a candy, so it's kind of good for yeah, you. Yeah, it's good for you, absolutely. Then we top that with this flour, which is totally made of sugar, and it's dipped in gold, and it's totally edible. This flour? The flour is edible. It's oh, a sugar oh, flour. And on top, up, we have a bowl of the world's only dessert caviar. It's a salt-free caviar infused with passion fruit and armyak. <laughs> this is crazy, man. And of course, you eat it with a f***ing gold spoon. Oh, spoon. I go out to eat a lot, and I take a lot of the silverware with me. That's just my <laughs> thing. Because it's not that I need the silverware. It's like when I, I sometimes get hungry between the restaurant and home. And, and you need some utensils, right? I need something right? to eat, yeah. So is this a situation where you're missing a few spoons? Uh, th these were real careful about. Um, okay. Yeah, these, you know. Mm-hmm. Little range on there. You know. All right, so. What is this Sunday? Tell me the cost of it right now. Because I'm sure I can, I'm sure I probably eat them every week.
and you get to keep the glass. Oh, shit. <laughs> the glass, you should be able to borrow the restaurant for $1,000. Listen, bro, <laughs> you know how much $1,000 is? Yeah. Do people come eat this $1,000? Yeah. So? Sell at least once a week. Seriously? Yeah. So you ready This to... shit is going to melt if I don't eat it. Two. So I'm about to eat some gold, y'all. Mm -hmm. Man, it's good as hell. Now, all that's edible. Matter. All that's edible. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the wrong thing. So look, uh, the rap thing is going excellent for me, but if not, I'm gonna hook up with you and maybe right. me and you can slang some ice cream. Yeah. The best way to wash down the most expensive snacks is with the most expensive water. Without water, there would be no yachts. Water may not have a taste or an odor, but it tastes delicious. That's why water is the best snack. Hey, 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 how you doing, man? Very well. All right, I'm Two Chains. Martin. Nice to meet you. What's up, Diplo? That's my Martin. homie Diplo how you doing? right here. What's going on? What you got going on today? I'm a thirsty guy. I'm the only water swimmer in America, and I think it's nice to taste some different waters with you today. What's the difference in water? I mean, ain't it all the same? Not really, actually, because all the water's coming actually from the same source. It's rainwater at one point, and it drips down in different layers all over the planet, and the different layers have different terras, like wine. So water takes minerals with them, and you can measure them by TDS, total dissolved solids. What's dissolved? Dissolved. Like dissolved. how many minerals dissolved. I combined okay. in gotcha. one liter of water. Gotcha. Sorry, I'm German. Yeah. <laughs> My Porsche is German. Too. Yeah, me too. I'm, That's I'm, great. I'm Shall we start? I had a German girlfriend once. Right. We're starting with the water from Canada. And it's actually 15,000 year old glacier water. How do you this know water is 15,000 yeah. years old? So the last time on, this bro. water was liquid, the mammoths were around. How the hell you get it? I have my connections. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. That's definitely water. Tastes just like water. You shoved it down already. How much is that? I'm thirsty. Guy, I'm, thirsty. Huh? I'm thirsty. I like you. I definitely taste rock crystals. Yeah. I felt like the water just sat in a, in a dinosaur Tyrannosaurus product. wreck footprint. I have to say, I taste like nothing. You don't, you don't taste water. it? You don't taste anything? Because no. this water has almost no minerals in it. Because it's a nice glacier water. So Berg water costs $20 in my restaurant. Iskilde costs $12. Iskilde has way more TDS level. I, I definitely taste some rock. It feels like I smoke weed when I drink that water. I, 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 it, it always feels like I smoke weed. <laughs> Inside here is the most expensive bottled water from America. Next one. Vichy? Yeah. That's the number one water in Spain. It's carbonated though, right? Yeah, it's carbonated, yeah. and this water, the TDS level of 3,200. I, I got a question. They get the water and then they carbonate it, right? The carbonation comes with the spring. That's crazy. And that's the cool thing actually about all the spring waters, what I have here on the table, they don't add anything. And they don't filter anything. They're just putting it from the spring into the bottle and you can drink the Terra. TDS, gang. It's salty, huh? It tastes yeah. like a... Tastes like sweat. Tastes like alka mm -hmm. Very good. This water is super healthy because you have so many minerals in this, and this is my hangover water. So look, how much is this bottle going for? Thirteen dollars in my restaurant. I have something for you. Something very special. Oh, look at this, man. This is crazy. <laughs> this is Beverly Hills 90 H2O, and inside here is the most expensive bottled water from America. So let's see. Why you gotta have this? Whoa. Soap? Damn, that's dope. This whole experience cost $100,000. What? Because you cannot buy this, kind <laughs> of like, or actually, it's just been made nine times in this world. Nine! And this whole experience is the Ultra Diamond Luxury Collection of Beverly Hills 9H2. It comes with four Baccarat glasses. Time yes. out. Time out. I need a 20. Um. 
What costs a hundred thousand? The experience of you pulling up, flying with a handcuff or some shit with the this and a 007. That's a hundred thousand. What's what are you paying one hundred thousand for, brother? I can't tell you what. They, they used to wear them at my mama's church. Them same gloves. <laughs> Do you see this? That's 14 karat real diamonds. 600 white ones, 250 black diamonds, and white gold. Why? Yeah, why, 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 why? What is this? Why, why though? That's, I don't get it. I'm just lost at this particular time. <laughs> if it, oh. Do you wear the, Caps. do you wear the water? So when you, what am I do with it? Do you see? The whole experience is literally you getting the case, you're getting four Baccarat glasses. I'm flying out to you. It doesn't matter where you're in the world when you're buying this case. I will open this bottle. I will do a water tasting with you as well. We need some more witness for the 100,000. Yeah, yeah. In a whole year, you're getting actually then the product that you can refill it. Oh, you can't and refill it yes, for you. Can, so the bottle collection. is worth 100,000 maybe? Like, what the hell is worth 100? The whole 100? concept is worth 100,000. Yeah. This is the first Somagi crafted water in the world. That means they're taking a spring from the Santa Nevada mountains, mm -hmm. and I added different minerals to it. Yeah, what's what's the signing? What's yeah, Aquafina? That's, that's what's, tap what's water. What's that? Yeah, what, what's that? They're like two different types of water yeah, here in America. It's like tap water. We have purified water, spring water, and mineral water. This is a spring mineral water. So once again, water connoisseur guy. What is Dasani? What is Aquafina? What That's is Fiji? What is Fiji is a mineral water. Dasani, Aquafina, and Smart Water are purified waters. Smart water too? Yep. So if I go in the fridge and get a Dasani and Smart Water, it's basically the same thing. Yes. I'm getting thirsty. But I have to say, I'm drinking water since I was four years old, and I feel very good. This Cheers. is the most Cheers, expensive guys. water in the world. Tastes like fruit, kind of. It does. I think so too. Perfect combination Ooh. of minerals. Super healthy. That's good water. Super tasty. You ever been robbed for water before? <laughs> <laughs>